Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at the add-in for SOLIDWORKS of, of SOLIDWORKS Inspection. Uh, but what we're going to take a look at here is how we can mark a few of these dimensions here for inspection. Uh, they might be the critical dimensions that we need to worry about or something like that. And then uh, we can go ahead and create an automatically uh, driven balloon drawing. So let's go ahead and, and do it. We're going to grab, uh, let's say here, this overall height, um, the position of this grease fitting port, the inner diameter of this knuckle hole, and the uh, as well as the one for the top hole here, and this dimension for the spacing for the eye of the rod, uh, the gas rod that's supported here, and then this one down here, the angle of the grease fitting port is also going to be critical. So we're going to mark all of those dimensions here for inspection. You may not have noticed this little button over here, but it's been there for a long time. And uh, if we go ahead and click on that, it's going to go ahead and balloon these uh, dimensions here with these sort of oval graphics here. So if we go ahead now and switch our inspection add-in on, and once it's activated, we can click on our inspection tab and on the command manager here as well. And uh, the obvious first step is to go ahead and start a new inspection project. Go ahead and grab the part number directly from the properties of the project. We'll grab the part name also from the properties here. We can start the numbering at a different number if we wanted to. We can create uh, for each instance or we can auto balloon. Um, the sampling is uh, you know, set here as well in the project settings. If we navigate through the arrows here in the property manager, you can see how there are a couple of other options. We can call out things for welds. We can include or exclude them, GD and Ts as well. Um, any notes that might be in the drawing. We're going to go ahead and grab just uh, the dimensions that are marked for inspection, but you can see here if we clear that option, we could also just grab the reference or the basic or both. So in our case, we're going to just grab the inspection only, so the ones that we've gone ahead and marked out ahead of time. And if we click next again, we could go ahead and set the default tolerances. You can see that they've already been set here as well as the units and whether we're going to uh, check by precision or by range. With all of those project settings set, we can hit the ch uh, checkbox here and we get brought into the characteristic tree. Uh, from here, we can actually toggle on and off the dimensions that has been pulled out automatically. So if we decided after the fact to let's say, uh, you know what, we didn't care anymore about this 62.5 height. We, we're, we're not so worried about the, the top to the bottom location of that grease fitting port. We can find it uh, here in the dimensions. There it is. And if we wanted to, we could clear it from the selection. So we can actually play here with the tolerances or set any of these uh, and override the defaults. But we're ready to go. And the next step is to go ahead and balloon the drawing. So if you'll see here, there's a balloon document button. And when we go ahead and click that, it's going to give us the option to attach the balloons to the characteristic, which we would like, and uh, rotate to match the characteristic, which we would also like. Um, you can actually specify different layers. In this case, we're going to create a new one, uh, which has our balloons and all of that on it. And then we could uh, go ahead and tweak this individual settings of all of the balloons that will be added to the drawing if we were so inclined. We're going to leave everything as a standard uh, options, but you can see here there are multiple different shapes. We can fit uh, multiple different uh, characters inside of it. Uh, we can add prefixes. So it's, there's a couple of uh, different uh, options for whatever your company might need. We're going to go ahead and hit check this uh, green checkbox here. And as you can see, only the ones we marked for inspection are ballooned, as well as the skip of this one that we had here. And once that's finished, we can go ahead and export this uh, to Excel for our reporting because the balloon drawing itself can be either printed out or exported to PDF. So let's take a look at our export to Excel. In here we have some standard templates, uh, just like the standalone version. We have the AS9102 Aerospace First Article Inspection Standard. We also have our PPAP and Process Performance. But we're going to go ahead and stick with this AS9102 and hit the checkbox. And our report is generated here, and we can see that our dimensions are listed uh, as well, the characteristic type, their characteristic number matched up to the balloons on the drawing, and their nominal as well as their upper and lower uh, values. And then we could come in here and add our results.